Hi, I'm Gemma Gard and I'm here for the Billy Joe Foundation Gala Ball. And I now have with me Paula Woods, the founder of the whole charity. Paula, tell me where this all began. Where did it all begin? Um, my daughter was born on the 11th of August 2008 um, when she died in my arms that on Easter Saturday. Um, I promised her, I swore to her, she would never be forgotten. So I've set out and that's my mission, just to, to keep her name alive. And I think that we can truly say that you've done that. Tell me um, a wee bit about the charity and what kind of fundraising things that you're doing. Okay, the charity um, is obviously called the Remember Billy Joe Foundation. Um, we, this unit in the Royal, um, the Belfast Royal Hospital for Sick Children, it only has eight beds and that's to accommodate the whole of Northern Ireland. So when you really think about how many children there is in Northern Ireland and there's eight beds, so if a child was to take sick um, in Craigavon or in Londonderry and has, is critical and there's no beds in that unit, the child has to be transferred to England, Scotland or Wales. So it's hard, you know, on the parents whenever they have a critically ill child um, going away to England, Scotland or Wales and then, you know, if something did terribly happen to that child, they have the, the problem of bringing them home and, you know, it's, it's, it's hard for a family. Basil, tell me what this charity means to you. Well, it's a wonderful charity. Um, when I was first approached, you know, there was a, obviously a very tragic story uh, behind uh, what happened to, to Billy Joe, but obviously a wonderful story as well about, you know, hope and going on in the future. And when I met Paula and Myrtle, and they explained to me about what they wanted to do in terms of raising money for people in similar situations, and uh, I couldn't help but be, uh, be drawn into it. And I now have with me um, Ant, who's one half of uh, Ant and Dick, and who is the joint compare here this evening. Um, how are you enjoying yourself? Oh, it's a lovely wee night. I mean, it's obviously a sad charity and it pulls at the heart, but it's also great to get a night out with like-minded people and the crack here is 90. We're having a ball. Really good fun. And of course you've been involved in the charity then yourself? Yeah, I came last year as a guest uh, uh, to the to the Gala Ball. It was the first one and that was on a Saturday night. Um, and on the Monday morning my three-year-old nephew was diagnosed with medulloblastoma, which is a, a very aggressive brain cancer. And by the Wednesday he was in the ward, which we were raising money for. So I will be at the rest of these events forever and ever. Uh, there is no more worthwhile cause than to help those little kiddies up there. They need it, you know. Well, listen, thanks for your support um, here this evening and uh, all the very best. Absolute pleasure. It's always lovely to see you, Gary. <laughs> And I'm now delighted to be joined by Kaz Linus. Um, Kaz, that was fantastic. You sang for everybody here tonight. Um, you got a great response. Thanks very much. It was a really great night to be involved with. Gary's very special charity, and the song was actually very close to Paula's heart. We used to listen to that in the intensive care unit for Billy Joe. So it was nice to be able to do something a wee bit different for her tonight, and it's been a great night.
It's obviously a, a fantastic charity, and how long have you been in, involved with it? Well, I know Paula and Myrtle personally, just through different things over the years, but um, it actually through Gemma Garrett's wedding that I got to know. I sang at Gemma's wedding, and that's how we got to know each other, and where the love of Leona Lewis came. So that's where tonight kind of sprung from originally. But um, there's great charity, they're doing great, great work, and it's great to see something happen on a local level, definitely, yeah. Oh, it's an absolutely amazing night so far, having such a great time and having a lovely meal and just listening to the choir there, they were amazing and quite emotional as well. And of course, Shelley, you did the marathon for this charity last year. Oh, I did. Now I'm having a break um, at the minute because it, it, took a lot, it took a lot out of you, but it was so rewarding at the time and I would definitely want to do something like that again. It was so rewarding. And Stephen, you've got roped in as well, I think, on the prizes for for the the auction and the ballot or whatever? Uh, Yeah, it's a fantastic uh, charity to uh, get the opportunity to support. And uh, I think everybody has uh, somebody who's been involved or been part of something like that in their life. And uh, if you get the opportunity, I think it's it's important to uh, support it. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, to walk into a room that's so beautifully decorated with the candelabras etc i mean it was that was the start of the night for me and then the choir and then the singer was just amazing um you have to hand it to myrtle and paula i mean they really do know how to put on a, a good event i was at their event last year and i have to say it definitely goes down in history it's one of the best nights i've ever been to in my life so hopefully it's a success for them tonight and they make lots of money for the remember billy joe foundation nolan thank you very much Thank you. Lovely talking to you as always. Um, It's great to be here tonight. Great event. Um, It's always great to support local charities. And um, especially when you have children on your own, it's really heartbreaking to kind of support when someone has lost a child. It really kind of breaks close to your heart. And you're enjoying it, apart from obviously a very, very serious night, um, why we're all here, but you're enjoying yourself anyway? As always, there's great kind of lots of people I know, lots of friends. It's a great night here. Um, fabulous entertainment, a local school choir and a fabulous singer and, and it's just to get out and for everybody to have fun and raise money for such a good event.